Order my steps in your word and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. All praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rechakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth and sincerity and wholeheartedly, Shalom to the Akwath, which is the women believers, Shalom to you, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And the reason I want to make this video because you have people who think that their way, because it feels good to them, that that's the right way, you know, and what you don't get is that sin brings death. If you did have understanding, if you was able to hearken unto the prophets, you will understand that the reason that we are in the position that we are in and the world is ran the way that is ran is because of sin. Sin was brought affliction, mourning, sorrow, death, injustice, oppression. Okay captivity like that's what brought all of this into the world is sin and as a saying on romans 6 and 23 that the wages of sin is death so the reason that you continue to see death in the world is because of sin and guess what i don't care if sin feels so good to you let me tell you something since Yahweh Bashem Yahweh shai is in control and it's nothing that you can do nobody can knock them off the throne OK, so his way is always going to stand contrary to how you feel. So his way is the only way. So you better learn to love it. And guess what? If you're an Israelite, you're going to learn to love it because the Lord love you so much that eventually he's going to give you a fleshly heart and take out the stony. He's going to write the law, statutes, commandments in your inward parts. And that is for the elect first and then the rest of Israel when they be born into the kingdom. So order my steps in your word and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. All right. Iniquity is sin upon sin. All right. Ain't none of us perfect. Some of us go off. A matter of fact, not some of us, all of us go off. Okay. That was Satan right there. All of us go off and we need a savior. The reason that Yahweh Shai even came and did what he had to do is because the Lord, first of all, all right, let, let, let's break it down. He sent down his son to re reunite us back to him we broke the covenant okay we broke the covenant now through yahweh shai sacrifice now we have grace and that time that grace time period you're supposed to get closer to the lord you're supposed to rehearse the righteous acts you're supposed to sacrifice this life and go into the way of righteousness to the best of your ability because the lord don't even require you to be perfect he know you're gonna fall he said because of what Adam and Eve did that you in, you um inherit a wicked heart. All right. So. And. For time's sake, everything that I just quoted, right? If you be like, oh, I don't believe that. Uh, come on the comment board and ask what you don't believe. And then I, I give you the scripture. Okay. So it says, there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. See? So, it seemed right to you because it feels good unto you. And then, you actually see the wicked winning in this world. So you think like, oh shit, well, hey, look at, look at my idol that I look up to. I don't know, you might, you might like Jay-Z, you might look up to him. And, and, and you see the things that he do. He's a prosperous man in this um, wicked system. So you looking at him like, oh, shit, I need to do what he doing. Or I want to be like him. Oh, LeBron James, that's my idol. I want to be like him. So you looking up to these men because they prosperous. But look, this is what the Lord said about rich people in this world. Behold, these are the ungodly. Who prosper in the world, they increase in riches. Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world, they increase in riches. So though a hand, though hand join in hand, the wicked should not go unpunished. Cause this this whole chapter, Psalm 73, is talking about Esau, Edom, and the wicked. All right. The wicked, well, all of them wicked, but I'm talking about the elite. All right. So, but guess what? The elite pay you good when you go into the way of wickedness. So you thinking there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but at the end of are the ways of death. So you looking at it like, okay, 
Well, I see the people that I look up to as prospering. The scripture says in Isaiah 26 and 10, let favor be shown to the wicked. Why? Because the earth is giving it to the hands of the wicked. You see where the stumbling block is? See, you thinking by these people prospering in the world and the people that you look down on like a man of the Lord or a woman that believe who actually trying to go into the way of righteousness. You looking at a him or her. Like, oh, you born, you broke, you ain't this, you ain't that. You need to do this, you need to do that. You need to get money, dog. You need to get out here. Like, that seemed right unto you. But see, this is, let me get my, let me get my top five favorite scripture. All right? Because this is, this is what you lack. Where there is no vision, okay? When you go into this word vision, it goes into the word divine oracle, prophecy. And the Hebrew is Chazawan, Chazawan. Okay. So when you, so our people do not have foresight. They're nearsighted. They only see this. They want this. They don't have faith to um, believe in the kingdom. They don't have the eyes to see. Bless are your eyes for they see. Bless are your ears for they hear. They can't hear the word. They can't see. All right. So where there's no vision, the people perish, but he that, oh, but he that keep the law, happy as he, see, going into righteousness. I got a burp, so, so Salakia, I'm trying to, you know, get it out. But, um, Salakia means forgive me. But he that keep the law, happy as he. All right? So the point is, it don't matter how you feel, it matter what is. And what is, is that sin since it's flourishing, only thing that's going to come of that is death. That's why you continue to see death. That's why Jacob's trouble is around the corner. The Lord is about to judge his people for the last time. And he's going all out to the point that he said he's going to have to shorten the days. And if he didn't shorten the days for the elect's sake, there would be no flesh saved. That's how much killing is about to come to the earth. Because iniquity abound. Matter of fact, let's get that. Because iniquity abound. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So as we continue to go farther in life, each day you wake up, the world is getting more wicked. Righteousness is getting cast back even more. You know? Cause it's going to come a day where the famine of the world going to come. And then people are going to be wishing that we were still out there preaching because when we was out there preaching, the sown places were still sown. But when the Lord take the prophets off the street, all hell going to break loose and the sown place is going to suddenly appear unsown and your way of life as you knew it is going to be changed. And everybody is going to be practicing in the condition of, survival of the fittest ain't going to be no friends in that day. All right. Ain't going to be no friends in that day. So all you people out there who trusting in government officials, trusting in the philosophies and um religions of the world, because it feels good. If it, it cater to the flesh and also matter of fact, people who trust in their self, let's get that real quick. It said, thus say, if Yahweh curse be the man that trust of a man and make a flesh his arm. So flesh, that's what we're in, right? Trusting yourself. You actually think that you can get out of what, what is about to come. You believe that you can talk your way out, fight your way out, shoot your way out, hide away from the destruction. And whose heart departed from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Because you're not going to be protected in that day. You want to trust in man. You want to trust in yourself. You want to trust in everything but Yahweh Bashim Yahweh The Lord said you should not be delivered. All right. You're not going to be delivered in that day. Happy is the man that feareth always, but he that hardened his heart should fall into mischief. That's the only thing you have to look forward to. It's evil. You want to hard your heart and thinking because since the Lord is not punishing you right then and there that you get away with it. Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. Since sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. You thinking, okay, you can scoff. 
You've been scoffing all this time. You've been talking shit under your breath when you see a prophet. Uh, you you literally like, yeah, I hear what you're saying, but whatever. I'm going to live my life. I'm going to do what I want to do. All right. What? You about to fall into mischief. Okay. So happy is the men that fear of all way. Matter of fact, what is that? Because another thing too, haven't, well, let me, let me matter of fact, so many scriptures running in my head right now. Let me get this one before I forget. Is it 31? No, I think it's, ah, uh, see it's so much. This might be it. Okay. Is it 31? Yep. What shall we then say to these things that the most high be for us who can be against us? All right. One of the scriptures that you even heard before you even came into the truth, you know, Christians try to hijack, you know, these scriptures and don't know what the hell it means, what it's talking about. You know, it just sounds good, you know, especially when a, a Christian put his little enthusiasm in it. If the most high be for you. All right. You know how they do. So it feels good you know, to the ear, but this scripture is real. Okay. This is the way that you got to walk in the world. You have to walk with that faith because that's all we have. It's impossible to please the Lord without faith. All right. So, um, It said, and who is he that will harm you if you be followers of that which is good? This is the reason why we have the confidence to go out on the highways and byways and to live our life like this. Number one, because of the grace and mercy that the Lord bestowed upon us. All right. We are nothing without him. We do what we do because of him. We are not good. OK, but if you have him, this is the way that you walk. You're humble, of course. But you walk with your head up. You ain't like these people. The scripture says in 1 Thessalonians 5 and 9 that the Lord did not appoint us to wrath, but through salvation through Yahweh Shai, man. He didn't appoint us to wrath. So it's no reason for you to be scared like everybody else is going to be. So, and who is he that will harm you if you be followers of that, which is good. But, and if you suffer for righteousness sake, happy are ye and be not afraid of the terror, neither be troubled. Okay. Cause some of us is going to be staring death in the face, but here's the thing. So when we read the scripture says in Romans 15 and four, the whatsoever written the four times written for our learning that through hope and patience of the scriptures, we might have hope. I probably said it wrong. Matter of fact, since I might've said it wrong, we're going to get it. I think I messed up one word and I don't play about that. So it says, for whatsoever things are written for time, we're written for our learning that we through patience. See, I forgot that word. Through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. All right. So you read about how, you know, apostles got, um, um, what'd you call it? I don't want to say, I guess, I guess I could use that word release. How the, how the apostles got released out of prison by, um, the angels unlocking the door. Okay. So we can be in FEMA camps. And the angels just open the door for us. Or we could be the ones who are actually going to be a martyr. Okay. So these things we um, read about. And guess what? These are things that you got to trust in. So concerning the ones who might be a, um, a martyr. What is that? Dang, it just slipped my mind. Okay, there we go. The water of Yahweh about you, Melvish Is it this or is it 32? Righteous is all the nation. Hey, hey, this is a good scripture. So I'm going to read it, but I think I want 32. Righteousness exalt to a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. And, and guess what? There's a reason why we in this predicament. The wicked is driven away in his wickedness, but righteous have hope in his death. See, the righteous have hope in his death because those who die in the Lord should be risen first. So as you continue to keep playing games, Thinking by, I won't do what I want to do. And you making Terry to come to the Lord. So you think that you're going to be able to come to the Lord as soon as you see um all hell break loose. Like the Lord is going to, you know, be through dealing with you at that time. The Lord ain't going to be dealing with you at that time. He know that you was playing games. You was procra uh, procrastinating. And the things that you wanted to do was more important to him. So the point is, is that the ways that... <laughs> 
Matter of fact, let me see if I can just find it like this. I don't have to go all the way back to it. So there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. So there's only one way, and that way is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Shalom.